All right, guys, let's see if I can duplicate, duplicate what you've got going on. Now, uh, I've already started to set this uh, top dead center, uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rotate it again, show you what I'm talking about with you checking compression with your finger. Okay, that is compression. And I'm coming up on OT. All right, let's do this again just to show you. There it is, pushing my thumb off. All right. Somebody else did this engine. This is not one of mine, by the way. Um, they brought it to us for final assembly of everything, but they did the basic uh, long block. So, got OT down here. We're on the money up here. I think that that's uh, timing mark. So now we're going to rotate this again. Up on compression. OT. Back on the marks. And if you want to see how far off the uh, cam is from the crank, you see that mark is not perfectly lined up. So what I'm going to do is line it up perfectly, as perfectly as I can, then come down here and read on the crank how much off it is. So that's about, that's off about. There's five degrees right there, so it's off about, uh, I'd say, three degrees, which isn't enough to worry about. So let's do this again. Okay, pushing my thumb off, compression. OT. And back on the marks. So, I'm not quite sure what you are running into. It is uh, very confusing to me. I'm trying to think if there's a C. So, let's, let's say we go 100 and just do one, rev, one revolution. Okay, 360, got one revolution. There's OT. All right, and we are not on the marks. Okay, we go another revolution. Okay, back on the marks. So that's what I was telling you. Uh, what you are experiencing is something I have not experienced, and. I am not able to tell you what's going on, quite frankly. You see this chain, he's got it tensioned. It's got, uh, got good tension on it. Put this down so you see a little bit better. Uh, I got good tension on the chain. I can't lift it off the sprocket. Uh, Guides are okay. I, um, in terms of alignment, you don't really have much choice down through there. You're asking about uh, snaking a fiber optic or something cylinder down through there. I'm not quite sure that you've got room to do it. Uh, maybe with this adjuster out of the way you could, but I don't know that you can because I've never tried doing it. Uh, remember, you've got this special bolt right here. 
on the um, on the block. It has a rounded end on it, and that uh, keeps the chain from coming off of the sprocket here. Uh, not that it really would, and when things are going zipping along. Uh, let me see if I can find a. There we go. Let me get this off camera, and I will show you what I was talking about in terms of the oil pan. All right, here's the oil pan, and here's where the chain rides. You can see it's machined out so the chain has clearance, but uh, this is, that's why the chain is never going to come off down the bottom. It can't. Once it, once the, the clearance down here is so, so close that you can actually see a light track from the chain having run there previously, that's how close it is. So the chain, even when it's loose, is not going to come off. It may drag on the aluminum and make noise, but it's not coming off. Wish I could help you guys. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be of any benefit, but um, send me a video. Make a video of your own. Let me know what's going on on your end.